Why don't real estate agents want listings right now? Hey, what's up guys? Sean Janessian here with my home group. Today I'm gonna talk about, you know, in the shifting real estate market we are in, why agents are kind of shying away from listings uh, when the last two years the listings were the crazy market. Uh, but before we get into that, I would really appreciate if you guys would like and subscribe to my channel as I'm coming to you guys with more real estate content in the Phoenix metro area. Mostly, that's where I am based out of. Inventory has shot up in the Phoenix metro area about four or five, four or five X uh, from just this time last year. So that means when you get a listing, they are a lot tougher to sell, right? Because more inventory, more options. But why don't agents? want listings, right? Usually agents, most agents want listings. Um, but if we rewind the past two years, and this is probably mostly if you're a real estate agent and you're like, Sean, you're crazy. What are you talking about? I want listings. The, the agent who started in 2019 and the 2019, 2020, um, were in a different market, right? So they were used to, if you got a listing on Thursday, or Friday, if you went live Thursday, Friday, you were under contract by Monday with probably multiple offers and didn't matter where you priced the house, um, the condition, pictures, none of that stuff mattered, right? You just had to get a house, put it on the market. Let's say they wanted 500K and you're like, okay, let's, but it's really worth like 475. You're like, okay, let's go 500K. By Monday, you probably had an accepted offer of 525 to 550, right? So it was very quick, it was easy. You were literally just an order taker. Like, hey, you get some offers, you're taking orders, right? Uh, it's, and that has changed, right? Now there's, we're, we're back into the old school techniques with new school technology added with the old school techniques, in my opinion. So, and what I'm experiencing, and I'm seeing this now, because my, you know, my team right now, we have our office, we have I think 17, 18 active listings with a bunch coming soon uh, and a couple temporary off market. So we're right around like 20-ish listings right now in the office. And, you know, things are taking longer to sell, which is expected with a lot of inventory, right? Three things I believe you want to look at when you're selling a property, right? So you're not shying away. So like the newer agent who started in 2020, Right now, it's like, I don't want listings, I want buyers, which is great. You still want to work with buyers, right? You still want to work with buyers and, and sellers. I think a healthy amount of each is really good. Um, but a lot of agents, the newer agents, won't go after seller clients as much as they would buyer clients, right? I think it's a it's a mistake. I think having listings as well as buyer clients are, are a great thing. It's just how you're taking the listings, I believe, are important. Right, so right now, I believe there's three things you wanna be looking at when you're getting a listing. First and foremost is price. How good are you at pricing a property, as well as how it'll stack up with the competition that's out there, right? That's problem number one. Problem number two is sellers the past two years, you know, they've had a great ride, right? And you, they've seen in the news, they've seen from friends, their neighbors, you put a house up, it'll sell, right? And they see these houses, like for instance, this property, let's say it's, it's, you know, in the neighborhood, it comps, right? Comparables, it, it comps at $500,000, right? Because in the past six months, there have been sales at 500,000. I personally wouldn't look at it as like, okay, it's been 500,000, that's what we're gonna list at. I look at what's active as well as that and say, hey, if there's homes active at 480, 490, 500, 500 is not the list price I want to go for, right? I, our job is to help clients make the most money possible, right? That is our job. And if you start too high and you're chasing the market, you're going to be, you end up costing your sellers a lot more money. It's, it's been proven, uh, I'm noticing it right now. So if, if that client wants 500, 510, 515, just to test it out, they're gonna end up selling below what the competition will sell because now they have to drop the price, it's, it's on the market longer, and they just keep having to go down, 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 down. So talking to your sellers and explaining to them it's a different market and their mindset towards it, it it's gonna be a huge thing right now. Again, my opinion. 
I'm in the Phoenix metro area. This is what I'm seeing with a lot of homes on the market staying active. I have a listing coming up too right now. We are a little bit higher, but it's a, it's a really nice luxury home. So, you know, we're trying to test it out. Um, second, so number one is price. Number two is the condition, okay? How does it look? How does it, how, how does the home be look uh, when a buyer walks in, right? How does it stack up compared to the other properties out there, right? It's very important uh, how the condition is. So again, this time last year, you could have a home in any condition, honestly, it was gonna sell. Now you have to take some time. If, you, if you're going on a listing appointment and talking to a seller, right, and you're like, hey, carpet looks old, paint looks really rough, there's some, a lot of, what do you call it, uh, a lot of clutter, I would have that conversation, because last year you didn't need to. Now, it's having that tough conversation with, hey, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, it looks like you have a, a lot of clutter. Let's, let's think about declu decluttering, getting a storage unit maybe, or putting stuff in the garage. So when buyers walk through, they they get to see the property in its full light, right? And seeing it the best condition possible. So that's number two. Number three, it's presentation, right? How us as agents market properties, right? And, and that's gonna be huge right now. We had, you know, I, I saw so many times last year, just, piss poor, excuse my language, piss poor presentation of properties, photos from an iPhone. Um, and like, it seemed like it was like iPhone fives, not even like the newest iPhone photos. It was just like an iPhone five and just no, it, it just wasn't marketed and presented in its best light. And, and now we have to go back to, you know, like I said, old school and, and new school as far as the technology, having video, photos, drones, you know, and, and the way you're marketing online is really, really important right now. And, and that's what's gonna separate the agents and the homes that are selling compared to the ones that aren't. And, and again, you could do all the things right and the home still may not sell it. It's gonna take time. So these are three things in my opinion um, I feel is why agents are kind of shying away from listings right now. So if you're an agent and you're kind of shying away because you started in 2020, 2021, just know, talk to an agent in your office, right? Go to someone and be like, hey, I have a potential listing. Can you look it over? Because if you've never experienced a previous market where you had to, you know, take your time with a home and make sure it's presented the right way and priced the right way, just don't know what to do so hopefully hopefully this video helps you guys and especially for sellers when you're picking an agent ask them hey what is your plan with my property right what are you doing how are you pricing what are you looking at make sure they're showing you the comps and the actives the biggest thing for me right now is the actives what is the active competition out there so and how are they going to market the property what are they doing so ask those questions as a seller right don't just go with whoever you like the most you know that's important like ability but it's also who's going to do the best job to sell your home for the most money possible so i really hope this video helped if you agents out there have questions feel free to reach out but i would definitely recommend you guys go to someone in your office who's been in the industry for a while and ask them if you have a listing appointment coming up and say hey what can i do um, to this property to help sell it or if you have active listings talk to people hey audit your you know so what i did with uh, my team i had everyone send me their listings even though i have access to it and i just went through each person's listing i was like oh change this this picture change the first photo um it looks like uh the couple of bedrooms are cluttered hey in the backyard put some gravel instead of the dirt little things like that where it was elevating the listings and a couple of them it really did help so again hope this video helped if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out and i'll see you guys next time